guys oh what's going on baby welcome back to another episode of the arsenio buck show man you guys are probably wondering like dude you look very bright it's because i am bright <laughs> guys man it's a hell of a out here in good old bangkok man i've checked into the marriott hotel i'm just getting ready for this bidc conference that's getting ready to go down very very soon and man first and foremost i'm just so grateful um for handling all the crazy business finally to let all the crazy immigration stuff go away now you guys have heard me talk about on so many occasions god i finally got everything handled today no more and so this is the best way to actually kick things off these festivities so first and foremost i'm going to talk about what happened first um and then i'm going to have to do another igtv because I'm going to talk about something more on a serious note. But this one, I just want to radiate that love. You know what I mean? And just getting ready for this big conference. So, anyways, I came here, right? And, man, I look so bright right now. I just have to do this. And first and foremost, again, I wrote this 101 goals list in my 101 goals book, okay? Four years ago to stay at the Marriott Hotel. So first I had to take, of course, the BTS all the way around. But before I even get into the BTS, I finally got that visa. I finally got everything handled today. And I took the first ever train uh, that just literally opened up like last Friday over a very, very busy intersection that would normally take 30 minutes driving. But now it only takes two minutes by train. You could imagine, right? So I'm, we're going over this train and it's like swerving like it's a fucking roller coaster. And I'm like, oh my God, we're going to die. I got scared. I like my butt like tense real quick. It was like my butt, oop, you know what I mean? But um, we finally went down and I went back to my condo, packed everything up, went down here, beautiful sidewalk. You guys are like, are you seriously giving gratitude to a sidewalk, guys? You have no idea. Did you not see my suitcase? It was completely discombobulated by the goddamn sidewalk, rest in peace. But you know what? That suitcase was a little bit old. Nonetheless, guys, I got here. And what I like about the Marriott Hotel, and I was just about to jump into what I just saw right now, but we'll get into that later. But I walk in, this lady comes up to me. She's like, sir, how can I help you? I said, I'm here to check in. I started speaking Thai. She was like, ooh, you speak Thai. I'm like, yes, I actually live here. And so she says, okay, this woman right over here, she's ready. And I'm like, guys, first and foremost, this is like the best service I've ever had in any hotel around the world. Marriott. I'm pretty sure the Marriott in Las Vegas is a piece of shit. Okay? I'm sorry, excuse my French, but come on, let's be honest. I'm trying to give due where due is needed. And nonetheless, man, this lady came around from the desk and she said, hello, my name is Ida. I'm here to check you in today. How are you? And she saw my face. I was covered in sweat because I had to walk down there. Where was the shitty ass road? It's not even down here. This is like the backside. That is really nice around there. They got a nice little park. Nonetheless, man, she said, is it raining outside? <laughs> and I started laughing. And she started laughing. I was like, ah-ha. I said, it's raining and it's hot. How about that? It's raining while it's sunny outside. Welcome to Thailand. I'm kidding. There's no rain. But, you know, she looked at me because I was sweating my ass off. So it was a funny joke. Shout out to Ida out here. Um, <laughs> she's so funny. Nonetheless, um, she checked me in and everything, just superb, you know what, I just kept thinking about the service I got out there in Bali, Indonesia three years ago, honestly, which is the better hotel, there's a lot of things to talk about and whatnot, you can't compare a beautiful resort on a small island to a, just a gorgeous marvel in the heart of Bangkok, I mean, you look at all these buildings, man, you know what I mean, and a lot of people would say, well, New York is more, ah, who cares, nonetheless, okay, so I checked in, got everything ready. The guy, of course, that invited me to do this massive presentation, he said, hey, I'm coming here. I am here and now. I said, okay, deal. So I ended up going. And I said, I'm going to go. So I'm going to go down there and I'm going to meet some of these people. So here go all these Thai people. Some of them are wearing blazers. They're all dressed well. And I'm like, damn. I said, I ain't never seen this before. I'm looking at some of the women. But nonetheless, I said, oh, lordy. So met him. Met another guy, met a woman, then met the president. As a matter of fact, if I have that card, yeah, that's it. Big shout out, big shout out. Oh my God. Kem Narin, she is the president of e of the E-Learning Association here in Thailand. So here, <laughs> me and her, we're talking about so many things. And 
she invited me to be a consultant for her company. And I just can't, I just can't have the, the most gratitude. You know, I'm just so grateful because I knew something massive was going to happen. And when you get a president of a company, of an association in a country to say, man, we would love you to be a consultant. Come on board. It just, it means so much to me because she automatically knew, whoa, this guy's capabilities are way out of here. Not even getting into what's about to happen this evening because, of course, you know, that's the big function that's coming up. And then fast forwarding it to, um, you know, tomorrow because a lot of news channels are going to be here. And I'm like, so you're going to have the news. You're going to have these people. You got folks from Hong Kong, Spain, you got India all in one place. And I'm going to be able to showcase myself. This is going to be unbelievably exciting. So... To be honest, guys, I'm just given an absolute amount of gratitude for everyone who has followed me for the amount of time you guys have over the amount of, you know, just in general, because you guys have been there for me when tough, when things were tough, you know, when times were tough, when I was literally the victim and I kept throwing myself in my own sorrows and my own tears and people don't want to hear that. People want to hear inspiration. People want to know what's the next direction. What's the next Give me a map and let me go out there. Let me go find myself in this vast world. And so here I am getting ready to do the biggest presentation of my life. As a matter of fact, if you look over there, there's a yellow building uh, right here. That's another Marriott, but this one apparently is the newer one. <gasps> the Hyatt. So going back to my 101 goals list before I go back into what happened in the lobby just now. I wrote the Marriott down four years ago. Above the Marriott was the Shangri-La, the Hyatt, the uh, Mandarin, and uh, the Shangri-La. Did I just say the Shangri-La? Let's do it again. Shangri-La, Hyatt, Mandarin, and I forgot. <sighs> Ritz-Carlton. That's right. I told myself I wanted to stay here at these places. And I wanted to stay at these hotels. Why? Because it was on the 101 goals list. This is what I've always wanted to do. Such as going to Fiji, Tulau, Tokalau, and going to Sao Tome and Principe. This is what I want to do. And now I'm here. And now I'm getting ready to do what I've been born to do. Times are exciting. You know, people, if you're not going after what is yours in the universe, then you're going to be like so many other drifters out there who literally wake up and do things unconsciously that they don't like every day, expecting a different outcome. Don't be that person. Please don't. And so going back into what happened to this lobby, I was walking across the lobby and I saw flight attendants from, I think, Austrian Airlines come in. And I'm like, whoa, this is so awesome. Like you got flight attendants from Austrian Airlines. You got all these people of a different stature all in one place. And I'm kind of just like taking it all in. And this is what I tell you guys, if you want to be successful, you're going to have to be around people who are excited and happy about life. These Austrian people, whatever, wherever they were, they were wearing all red. I remember Austrian Airlines, they wore all red unless they were Swiss. But they were just smiling. They were happy. And I'm like, I know they're normally not smiling or happy after work. I've seen Air Asia's flight attendants. But they were. You have a choice every day. You have a choice to make a decision. To make a decision that could be life-altering. Life-altering uh, life that could end up changing the trajectory in your life forever. Guys, what I'm trying to tell you here right now, right this second, is to just do the thing that scares the living shit out of you. I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual. Stay tuned, man. I got a serious, I mean a very, very serious one coming up real soon. So, I'm your host as always, over and out.